So I got a real quick one for you today. Now, I found some really weird stuff on Amazon in the past. I mean, really weird. I mean, if you could think of it, it's probably sold on Amazon, but I'm talking about retro gaming types of products. There's been a lot of strangeness out there, illegal stuff, things that just don't make sense. But today, what we're gonna be looking at kind of fits a few categories. Weird, strange, interesting, kind of cool, all rolled up into one. Functional, it is functional. So this is the RetroBook 8088 DOS microcomputer. And I already know some people would be like, hey, is this like a little emulation device? No, this is not a DOSBox emulation machine at all. This is a clone of an IBM 8088 PC from the early 80s, but in like a small laptop form with a seven inch LCD. So this thing, it's using a Yamaha OPL3 sound card, 8088 CPU. It's got IBM CGA 640 by 216 color graphics, and it's running DOS 6.22 and Windows 3.0. Now for me, it's been a long time since I've used these, these operating systems, so I was definitely rusty, especially with DOS command line prompts. Uh, but I do think this thing is pretty cool. But it also could be frustrating to use if you're not accustomed to this stuff. But I guess if you want to scratch some weird nostalgia itch of old-ass DOS PCs, then here you go. So this thing, it's fairly simple, like out of the box. There's not a lot going on here. It has a 512 megabyte CF card with all the needed programs and files for this thing to run. I haven't seen one of these, you know, cards in a long time. Kind of crazy how big they are compared to like a micro SD card. But hey, they're still out there and they're still being used, I guess. I think some of these components are like, you know, old parts that are just being kind of pulled together and to create this product type of thing. Um, but moving on, there's also a, a USB port on the side, uh, which can be used for like other storage. I don't know what the, the size limitations are on that, but I didn't try to mount anything as I don't have any spare USB drives uh, to use with this thing. So I just wanted to check out what came included on that CF card. But you also have a uh, extension interface on the back of this thing uh, via the ISA bus, which will allow you to add other accessories or upgrades. On Amazon, it didn't come with it included, but I have seen like on AliExpress and other places you could add that on. Uh, but okay, one nice thing with this design though is that most everything is accessible by little doors you can open up uh, to get to some of the chips if you need to, if you wanna upgrade them. Now, if you need access to other areas of the board, there's only a few screws to take out to open everything up. So this thing, it can also run on, uh, you know, without a wire, without a, a power supply plugged in because it does have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery but it also came with a 12 volt, uh, 1.5 amp power supply. So, hey, if you wanna be playing on this thing all day long, it, you're covered. So this PC, while it's really neat, it does have a somewhat cheap DIY feel to it. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but there are some bad things here. The screen isn't the best when it comes to different viewing angles and the keyboard, it's definitely not retro inspired. It feels like crap. It gets the job done though. But it's just a more modern keyboard with function keys and shortcuts that do absolutely nothing in DOS or Windows 3.0. So a lot of useless keys here. That's not gonna um, like suck you into some old ass nostalgia. They didn't mess, you know, didn't create a new keyboard for this thing. They just kind of integrated something newer. So this PC, um, yeah, it was fun messing around with, but since this is a clone and not like a nicely set up emulation device, with an easy to use front end. It's not gonna be for everyone. I think this is more of a novelty, a cool one that's definitely functional, not perfect. The speakers suck and I can't find a way to adjust their volume. The screen, like I said, it's you know kind of bad looking at it from most angles. Using a Windows 3.0 here with just a keyboard uh, can be a little annoying, but once you get used to little shortcuts and just how things work, I, it works all right, I guess. Like you can get used to it if you can't figure out how to add a mouse to this thing or you don't want to be bothered with that. So I'm not really sure like who this device is for, uh, but it's it was interesting messing with it. I mean, nobody's going to be using this thing for any kind of productivity, like taking notes, writing an essay, doing some schoolwork, uh, any kind of serious gaming, nothing like that. But, you know, it, it's cool to check out, you know, some old Windows apps, see how things used to work, uh, play some DOS games. And I did load up a few of the games that were included. Nothing like revolutionary here, uh, but they were slightly fun little distractions. I mean, you could always add more games or uh, try to push this thing to its limits and upgrade everything 
to get like more performance out of it. But you got to really love this kind of old technology to go that far. And at the end of the day, I think if you are really passionate about that kind of stuff, you may just be a type of person who wants to source like the original hardware to begin with and not this kind of like clone stuff, you know? I mean, for this thing being a clone, it is kind of cool, but I do wish the quality was a little better, like with the keyboard, uh, the screen especially, and the speakers. You know, those are the th things I could harp on here, but at the price point, these things are selling for around $200, somewhere around that, on Amazon, on uh, AliExpress, you know, a few different places out there. Uh, these came out like a few months ago, and they're just kind of trickling out there now, uh, being sold on Amazon, uh, shipped by Amazon type of thing. So figured, hey, now it's time to mess around with this thing instead of waiting for it to come directly from China. But to quickly touch on, uh, you know, my time messing with this thing, I've been showing clips here, you know, of messing around with it, uh, but playing some of the games that came included. There's only a few. Um, I've heard of other people getting these things, and they had a bunch of games included, uh, but mine didn't have too many. There's just a handful. But playing things like Afterburner was really interesting. The game played fine using the uh, directions on the keyboard and the space bar to shoot. And I think enter to launch your missiles. Very sluggish game. Kind of hard to tell some of the graphics apart here. But it's kind of weird. It's fun, but it's not fun at the same time. It's just interesting to see like how games used to run. I, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but moving on, we also had that duck game, which I think might be like a homebrew. I'm not sure. Uh, that game, it ran a lot smoother. It was really interesting. little platformer, just kind of getting to the end, finding keys, unlocking treasures, uh, shooting enemies, that kind of thing. It, it was fun playing it. You use the, key, uh, the keys, the, the direction keys, and the Z and X buttons to jump and shoot. And then there was uh, Arkanoid. Arkanoid eh, it, it just played just like it normally does. A game I kind of enjoy from time to time. Uh, but the only problem with that one, I couldn't figure out how to exit back to DOS or back to Windows. Like, some of the games, you would hit escape to open up a menu to exit. Uh, some, you would just select it in game somehow. Uh, and then your typical, like, hey, control X to exit. Like, none of that stuff worked with Arkanoid. I don't know why. I would just start mashing the keys and eventually something would happen. I tried looking it up. I can't figure out what I was doing wrong there. But overall, really neat device. I even played Solitaire. I probably already showed that um, on Windows. But yeah, this is a really neat device. I wish the quality was a little bit better. Uh, but hey, I mean, I like this kind of weird stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Really do appreciate y'all. Catch you on the next one. Bye.